fish that has the nasa ball of the mercury, okay? That's a good question. The fish that, that the swordfish ate, ate another fish before that, and it makes a whole uh, chain of that. Exactly. And since the swordfish is at the top of that chain. And it keeps adding up and adding up and adding up. Exactly. They're and they're at the they're at the top of the food chain. The mercury adds up just like you said. What's your name? Yeah. And what's the word for that? Fancy word that adding up process. Yeah. Bioaccumulation. Bioaccumulation. What are the other fish that are at the top of the food chain that people are really worried about? The FDA says be careful about eating. Yeah. Tuna. Tuna. Right. The other three are shark. There's a second one called tilefish, which we don't eat in the United States, but they eat in China. And then mackerel. Tuna is the one you have to be careful of because that's the one that people eat a lot of. You're right. And what the government says, this is not meat, the FDA says you should not eat more than six ounces of a certain kind of tuna called albacore, which is what is the kind of the chunk white kind that you like to get a week. Not more than six ounces a week. Now, how much is six ounces? Would that be like? That's like that's Yeah, that's like kind of like one sandwich, one tuna fish sandwich a week. Let's go to the next question. How do we measure the mercury in the fish? Um, maybe they do tests on different fish from the same species and see how high the mercury level is for each of them. Exactly right. How would you test yourself for your mercury? Oh, I know. Go ahead. Um, I think you might take a blood sample. Take a blood and sample, and, it went right, and, and run a blood test and tell you how much mercury is in it. Or there's another way, too, that doesn't require any pain. I know. What's that? Um, hair sample. What? Sample of your hair. Well, that's really? Correct. really? You can, if you look and take a sample of your hair, you can send that off for analysis and it'll tell you how much mercury is. Now, what's, why is it better to get a blood sample than a hair sample? Because it tells, hair samples tell, it tells mercury, like, from a really long time ago. Exactly. But blood samples tells recent mercury. You got it exactly right. Now, we discovered at Oceana, Another interesting source of mercury in the environment that we've been talking a lot about, they make chlorine. And one of the ways they make chlorine is they have vats of mercury, big vats, like as big as a table over there, filling a whole big room. They put salt water into those vats, and they put electricity into those vats, and it makes a chlorine gas. And they capture the gas, and then they sell it. And we did a study where we showed that a lot of that was leaking and spilling. And there are nine of these plants in the... Uh, United States, each are still using making chlorine, and they're they're releasing a whole lot of mercury. I um, heard on the internet that it releases mercury gases, and then if you put